G'day guys, I'm Marco from Orbit Talk and today, with the help of one of the Bush Ranger mini loaders from our good mates at McLaughlin Mini Loaders, I'm going to show you how to unbolt one of our ML units, how to affix it to the actual mini loader itself. We're also going to show you how to attach one of our mixer bowls and show you how to utilize the four-way swing we offer standard on all our ML units. When you purchase your new mini loader gearbox, it will come in a box like this. We now supply the frame attached to the gearbox to save you downtime fitting it up so you can get digging holes faster. In the box, You'll see if you have two hoses, operator manual, organ drive pin. As mentioned, the unit is already affixed to the frame, and this, as I said earlier, is a four-way swing. When you purchase your organ drive, it will also include a set of quick-release couplers. We don't include them in the box, that way we can supply them for different machines. We offer flat face couplers and popper style couplers. This way it can go across whether it's a dingo machine, a kanga machine, and a bat machine. Anything to meet your requirements, let us know, and they're included free of charge with the all wheel drive itself. We're now going to fix the hoses to our hydraulic motor. Please refer to our earlier video as to the correct procedure to do this. We're now going to pick up the mini loader drive with the machine. Once we have fixed the frame at the top, we're just going to put our locking pins in to make sure it's secure. Okay, I'm just going to go through now and show you guys the different swing options. As mentioned, this is a four-way swing. When you get it, it will be set up as a two-way swing. Two-way swing meaning exactly that. It will go pivot forward and back. Okay. We then remove this front pin. It will then make it a four-way swing. Back and forth. And now we can go lap, side to side. The reason we do this is that even if you're on uneven ground, you can still get a straight hole with the orbit off. The other change of angle we can do is the last one we offer, which is to add a mixer ball on. The reason we have a different angle is so you can get the optimum angle to fill the mixer ball up with cement. All we have to do, undo these two side pins, Once you pull those out, we're just going to flip it upwards until it hits the stops and the washers and put the pins back into it to hold it in place. Okay, this position now is now ready to have the mix ball fitted to it and as you can see it's going to provide the optimum angle to get as much concrete as we can in the ball. Last thing we do, put our auger pin through so it doesn't fall out, and we're good to go. So just a quick recap on what we've done today. We've obviously showed you how this gets delivered in the box, hoses, couplers get attached to it. We're gonna fix the frame, make sure the pins are in, and we attached our hoses and our couplers to it. Showed you how the four-way swing works and how to fix the mixer bowl. We'd like to thank again our dealers and our good friends over at McLaughlin Mini Loaders. Chasing anything auger tool or McLaughlin Mini Loader related, please give them a call and I'm more than happy to help you out.